yeah, it's 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 been crazy. I'm gonna update you guys, you know, as we go, we'll we'll talk about it because I have so much to talk about. Um, but one thing I I want to ask your help for and Tracy, yeah, I feel like I have you're done having kids, yeah. So I get all your like B list baby names. <laughs> Oh, am I getting? Am I gonna get to help? <laughs> Fuck you! <well>, listen. <laughs> Wait, I didn't think that was an option. I'm you, allowed to help. Most people are never gonna give you honest baby names because they're reserving them for themselves. Oh no! Oh yeah, and I'm You're a good done. baby namer. You're done. I have like a fucking trunk load of baby names that I wanted to use that yeah. I lost. I lost them. So that's what I'm saying. I'm like, send me all your baby name suggestions because I have never been so undecisive on anything It's going to be the hardest out of everything you do your pregnancy. It's going to be naming it because you're like, this name is going to dictate like how they are as people. It's weird. It's so fucked up. It's, it's weird so that you, like, you're given the choice. First of all, it blows my mind that they just let you walk out of the hospital with a baby. Yeah. No psych eval, nothing. And I'm like, so I asked them three times when I was like, I was like, this is it. I'm just leaving. <laughs> you don't check about the car seat. You just let me go. Is that what that's the deal here? They were like, yep, you just go. Here's your paperwork. Here's your discharge papers. And I was like, so I can leave and no one's going to come after me for taking this child home with me. And they're like, nope. I'm like, yeah, like who gave people this much power? You can name your child podcast and they let you walk and out. And celebrities the have. <laughs> Podcast Calcione. Yeah. I mean, they literally I like have podcast names. apps. It's kind of cool. I mean, <laughs> literally, they've picked worse names. <laughs> so, like that, you know, and then, like, you know, that freaks me out. It, I do feel like when you give a child a name, you are defining the rest of their it is. life. It's like a big thing. Like, I feel like you are shaped by your name. You are, you know, formed by that name, yeah. by the response you get when you say that name. So, I, you know, I had, I don't, I didn't have like a list, but I had some names that I like. And I look back at them and I was like, uh, are never. you fucking nuts? Never. Like, I would, you, once you actually are pregnant, you're like, I can't name a child. No, I you remember. Know, my, koozie. My, <laughs> that was one of your names? No, no, no. Oh, wow. I was about to be like, yep, you've just revoked. You've been revoked. You're not allowed to name your baby. Or like, you just see like, you know, because now too, like you Google like unique names, but the unique names are not. No, they're like sock. <laughs> yeah. Like I, uh, yeah, like oh, I'm not naming my Lake, child crew river. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. So like, it's just it's so much. So um, I definitely want to hear from you guys and hear any names, and I'm gonna be hounding you, Tracy, for all your like I said I am, the B list. I names. will send the copy paste list over. <laughs> it's still in my phone. It's under baby names. I remember, uh, I remember all of you naming all of your kids. I remember Skylar very clearly. Again, I don't know why. I remember where I was. I was out for a walk. And I remember you sent me the screenshot of the conversation you had with Corey. Yeah. Because we couldn't agree on Skylar. Yeah. And I love that. He I wanted that. Brooklyn real bad. I remember that. And I wanted Gianna with a J because I wanted to call her JJ because I always wanted Gianna James. And then he kept saying, I'm not naming my daughter um, poor a name. poor name. And I said, Fair. well, we are naming them a poor name because regardless what the first name is, the middle name will be James. James. <laughs> so you could fight me all you want. So then he, then one day I was like, what about Skylar? Isn't that so cute? And he was like, Skylar James. And I'm like, yeah, he's like, sounds less pornish. I like it. And I'm like, there middle you go. ground. It's all about the middle ground. Yeah, I was like, you need to like ease up on the middle name if it's so harsh. To and something sweet. I need someone to like put me in my place because you know Denny. He's so like laid back. Like Denny would be like Kate. Kate's fine. Kate, whatever you throw at him, he's it's yeah, fine. He's like great. Even something whatever outrageous, works. he's like, yeah, okay, that works. Right, like he's so whatever. So no, I need I'm someone gonna, to be I'm like hurt your feelings. Yes, that's what I need. That's what I need. Yeah, <laughs> I'd be like, you're not naming my niece or nephew. And that, like I said, so. I don't really trust a lot of my friends who don't have children because I'm like. They're never going to give me their, like, golden names. No. They're never going to share this those This happened with me. on Friends. She was like, oh, I like the name Emma. That's my name. I've always wanted to name my daughter. And she's like, I love it. I want it. And you didn't fucking named her daughter Emma. And she stole her friend's name. Oh. Rachel stole Monica's name. That's dirty. It's a dirty move. I know. It's like people don't reveal. Yeah. I don't think I will. I don't think I'll reveal the name because we're going to find out the gender. So I want to keep one thing a yeah. surprise. I did. I kept their name secret till they I were born. But I do want to have, like, a baby name secret keeper to... You know, I've read horror stories of people who like, oh, we're not going to tell our friends and family and the baby comes out and then their initials are fucking like, you know, ass or something like that. Yeah. Because you can give another pair of eyes to nope. go over it, yep. you know, and, and, and look at the situation. I mean, yeah. My last name has a C, you know. I, a lot of things. It could be Sack. <laughs> Dick. You could be like, fuck, I just named my kid Sack. <laughs> yeah. You know, Samantha so. Ann Calcione Sack <laughs> on her backpack. I'm just saying you got to be careful with shit like that. Uh, Devin Irene. Calcio, dick. Yep, dick. 
Done. Dick calcioed. Dick calcioed. That's what I'm going to call her. You know, this is what I need. Uh, this is, you know, I need a, another pair of eyes that I, that I sure. can trust to, to look over all my crazy names. But um, very excited. Uh, feel really good. And uh, we will keep you guys updated throughout season three. You know, the other thing I want to say, one thing that throughout this, all of season two, um, I've been getting messages from people about the miscarriage episode. So mm-hmm. saying, hey, when the episode first came out, I listened to it, whatever. But then I experienced one for myself for the first time. Went back. And I went back and re-listened to it. Yeah, it's something that I feel like everyone, regardless, should just listen to. Because I didn't have miscarriages, and I listened and learned a lot. Like, I was like, oh, I was scared to ask and bring it up. And Jessica was like, everybody should be bringing it up to me. And I'm like, fuck. (laughs) I'm not exaggerating when I say I get at least a message a day of somebody who said I have had to go back and listen. Yeah, you learn a lot regardless. You learn a lot. It's all connected. It's all so relevant. So if you've been struggling with infertility or if you've experienced a loss, your rainbow baby is coming. Have hope, stay strong, and always remember you're not alone. Don't forget, guys, new clips air every Thursday. So see you next Thursday. Hosted on dimlywit.com. Even though we are not your best examples, uh, we're the best you've got. So cheers, bitches. Cheers. Make sure you subscribe to our channel for updates. And if you like this clip, share it with a friend. <laughs>